Hey everybody, welcome to dailycfi.com. It's another edition here today, and today we're talking about weather tools, one in particular, uh, wonderground.com. Weather Underground uh, is a great service uh, that I've started using more and more. I've known about it for a while, but just now started really putting it to use for myself. So uh, it's been great. I've learned a lot of things, a lot of tools in there that I didn't know of, so I wanted to share some of those um, that relate to aviation uh, with you. So here we go. Uh, the first thing is that current conditions are, are there just like any other weather website, but it's kind of different. Uh, they have real-time data. You can choose a variety of different uh, reporting stations. Uh, like for example, I live in a bigger city here and there are different weather stations around the city you know, some that are on my side of town versus others that are on the other side of town. So I can get perhaps a little more accurate data for what's going on right in my local area for temperature, wind, uh, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Of course, you can always just uh, tack on to the METAR system or the AWAS system out at the airport and uh, pull from their data as well. So uh, kind of some choice there. That's pretty cool. On the screen here, you're seeing the current condition page uh, for Denver, Colorado, just a random city that I chose. And uh, so that's kind of, um, that kind of makes a nice uh, display. You can kind of leave that up on your browser and it updates regularly if you choose. Uh, the next piece is the aviation weather part. And this is where I think it has some power. Now it doesn't have all the features that you might be used to um, when you really go to get a total weather briefing but it does have a lot of different things that you can use to get general information. Now this is gonna be up in the top navigation of wonderground.com and uh, you're gonna go down and choose the general aviation option in that drop down menu. And once you do that, you'll get a, some options uh, you'll see on the screen right here, uh, the screenshots for different reports like winds aloft and temperature, uh, things like that. So. There's a lot of, you know, a few different charts there that you can use. Um, the flight rules chart is, is helpful just to get an overview of, of is, are things VFR or IFR in my area. So uh, here, here again, here's a winds aloft chart. Um, this, you know, it helps to get you acclimated with what are the winds aloft doing today, especially if you're flying from point A to point B, what can you expect? Uh, in terms of the wind direction, the wind um, speed, or the wind you know, velocity, things like that. So uh, I think this is great to get the general picture for everything that you might need on a flight, especially a longer cross-country flight, and kind of taking a bird's eye view of that in-route weather. So uh, again, probably not you know, the end-all be-all for weather um, briefings when it comes right down to it. That still lands in the hands of maybe duots or or the, the calling actual flight service. But uh, if you're like the night before type of thing for a flight, something like that, this would probably do a great job. Uh, just a few points here to make about Wonderground. First of all, it's at wonderground.com. The URL's right up there for you. Uh, and so you can just type that in. You can sign up for an account there, it's free. Uh, you can do an upgraded an account that'll give you like no ads and things like that. but. Uh, that's up to you. I just use the free account and then you can add favorites to that so you can monitor several different cities and those conditions. So perhaps you fly to a certain area often, maybe you make that flight daily or, or once a week or whatever. Um, that might be a great way to really track down and kind of keep track of those conditions on an ongoing basis. Um, the second thing that I wanted to point out, you know, was like I said earlier, really using the tool just for a generalization get the idea of what's going on, if the weather looks great, you know, maybe you don't need to do much more digging, but if it's showing signs that things are rough or that might be lower IFR conditions, um, then you can do more digging and, and you may have to go outside of Wonderground to do that. However, I should point out, you can get METARs, you can get terminal forecasts and area forecasts all in that aviation section uh, just by typing in the airport that you're interested in, or airports for that matter. So. Um, finally, I really, you know, always emphasize the use of flight service, uh, again, you know, or duots, something like that, gives you a record that you check the weather you got your flight briefing, and that's also the official place uh, to get that weather. So uh, it's a great way to um, kind of 
bring what you learned on Wonderground or another weather source and bring it on into the fold um, to your final briefing with flight service or some uh, duots, something like that. Uh, so if you have any weather related sites that you like to use, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, just leave them down in the comments section below the video and um, we will look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.